I don't think this topic should be controversial, but it is. The question is, does fascia stretch? Folks get very passionate uh, about this um, on either side of the conversation, and I'd just like to add some information uh, to the exchange. So does fascia stretch? Now, I'm going to ask you the question, what do you mean by fascia? What do you mean by stretch? And then try and answer that question relative to different variables or factors. So you could say, does cotton stretch? And if you took one cotton fiber, one cotton thread, and kind of yanked on it, it wouldn't really stretch much. But is, is a one thread a shirt? No, right? Is one string of collagen, is one fiber of collagen fascia? No. Fascia is comprised of collagen fibers and uh, a ground substance and cells in combination. Just like my shirt is comprised not of one cotton fiber, but of a, a host of cotton fibers that have been woven together. So watch, even though I might pull on a cotton thread and it might not stretch much, I can pull on my cotton shirt and it's quite stretchy. So it depends on the weave how fascia stretches, right? So, uh, and also the direction in which you're, you're stretching it and also what type of fascia we're talking about. So if we're talking about, say, perifascia, right, the membranous interfaces that enable differential movement in the body, we have an incredibly sort of elastic, distensible tissue whose very most essential property is its, its capacity to permit movement based on its weave, okay, which is kind of a felted weave, not any particular direction at all that allows movement to happen in many planes of orientation. So what's the weave? Uh, what type of fascia are we talking about? Some fascia are more uh, elastic and, and stretchable and responsive than others. So my superficial fascia and, and, my, and, I, I, and the dermis, I can kind of pick them up and drop them down. They're very elastic and, and stretchable. Now, do they hold their hold their changed length? Well, that depends on, on our time frame. I could, ask, I could enter time as another factor in, in the, the, the time frame that it takes for something to change its dimension and shape. So um, does fascia stretch? What about deep fascia or the dense regular fibrous fascia? They come in many, uh, uh, the dense regular fibrous fascia come in many fiber orientations. And for instance, let's start with the the most famous fascia of all, the IT band. So the IT band has an orientation sort of like this. It has thick, long uh, collagen fibers running uh, up and down from here to here in a, in a tightly packed configuration. And also, there'll be fibers in this direction, less tightly packed, at 90 degree angles, external, to this group of fibers and internal to that group of fibers. So over and above uh, and under and below or beneath or deep to, we'll have multiple strands going this way and this way. And these are different types of, uh, of collagen fiber organization in each one. So if I were to put my IT band in tension in this direction, it, it wouldn't stretch. <laughs> and you don't want it to, because if it did, your body would fall apart. That would be a disaster, right? So it's stabilizing in one direction, right? But what if I flex my quads, ba-bam, and I make my quads sort of pump out like this? How does that happen if fascia doesn't stretch? Well, it does stretch, but just not in the longitudinal direction. It stretches circumferentially around the cylinder. So what happens is, these fibers get a little further apart and are, are able to go further apart as the muscle tissue contracts and forces it to bulge out on the IT band. We get a spreading of these fibers circumferentially and these fibers here stretch like rubber bands. It's amazing. So if you looked at them close up under a microscope, you'd see that they really aren't straight lines. The collagen has actually organized itself like Charlie Brown's t-shirt, okay? All crimped up like this. And when the muscle contraction happens underneath it, the space grows in between it, right? So we have a functional stretching 
of, of the fibers because of their weave, their type, and the direction in which stress is being put on them. I have to illustrate this with real human tissue. So uh, most of these videos, I don't include shots from the lab, but what I have here for you is a, is a, is a microscopic view of the IT band being stressed or pulled in different directions and you'll get to see with your own eyes how fascia can stretch. Roll the clip! <laughs> so here we have the IT band uh, oriented as it would be in your body and now it's being placed under stress. Note how the long longitudinal up and down fibers are getting closer to each other. Now when we stretch it in the other direction, uh, laterally or circumferentially, watch what happens. Uh, those longitudinal fibers get spread apart and the horizontal fibers stretch like rubber bands. Stretch, recoil. Stretch, recoil. Does fascia stretch? Uh, you tell me. I appreciate your watching. Thanks for studying with me. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at gilheadley.com. There's a ton of stuff there. Enjoy.